Hey everybody, Mark Sager with Sager Steam Clean of Grand Rapids, Minnesota at sagers.com and we have had a question on priming a Butler Water Pump's uh, chemical injection system. So this is kind of the metering pebble and the chemical metering in the front. But first of all, underneath the back of the lid, this is a 2015 newer style chemical injection block, rebuildable. Old, old style, has four bolts on top of a stainless block. That is somewhat rebuildable too. This is the type that's a little more forgiving if you were to run this chemical injection dry, which you still don't want to do, it's not healthy for it. <coughs> Excuse me. And the old style, that would, if you run it dry, it's bad for it. It breaks the springs that are underneath. There's a stainless steel spring, you can spin that thing off and you can pop in a new spring and get it functioning again. So underneath with today's modern chemical injection, no matter what, this is your shutoff switch for chemical injection system on a butler. So it's flowing through there, shuts off here. Now you want to make sure that's open. This on this side over here with the red lever, this lever coming in on the side, if you were to open that up, that's a bleeder system for the newer chemical injection. So that's the bleed, the line, get all the air bubbles out, transfer if you were to take and switch out, see this is an alkali rinse now and you were to go to an upholstery rinse on an acidic side or a neutral side, you'd want to burp and, and get the air out of the line and you can also help bleed it, even if we're a brand new system. So you would see the air and the pebble going through there. Things you're going to need to know is we're going to have this, all three buttons engaged in high speed. And I'm telling you this because you might not hear me when I get it going. This here is your hot water convenience valve. We're going to be using that. That's usually stuck in this hole out here. Well, I've got it out because right now I'm going to have a bucket to collect the water. So the process to bleed the chemical injection system, making it work, make sure this switch is open like in line so it's not crossing, cutting off. This one you do want it crossing and kind of keeping it so that it is blocking it bleeding. This is your bleeder valve. We'll end up opening that up. So we're going to get it going high speed, all three switches, chemical or the uh, engage the pump, the cat pump engage, and we're going to high speed. Then we're going to crack this open halfway as well as this we're going to open up the bleeder valve completely open. So you'll watch the sequence and then as we get it so it's burping and the bubbles are coming out, etc., we'll take and then eventually open this up all the way. And then eventually we're going to shut that off. So here we go. Just follow along. If you hopefully can't hear, you can at least see. So we're going to fire it up. Full bore. Chemical injection. High speed. So there we go. Full bore. We're now going to open this up. Bleeding and pulling. See where the pebble is going up? And you'll sometimes get air bubbles in that. So watch that. See where the air bubbles are now there? And it's out. We're going to open this up halfway. See that? Kind of flopping the pebble. Shut this off completely. Notice we have there, this is open, open all the way. All right, it's looking like it's working. Yes, it is. Simulator. 8005 jet on top. So, here we go. Let's just blow it into here. Injection off. Simulator hose. We're going to shut it down. Now, that's still open. That's closed off. If you didn't hear, 
This is called a simulator nozzle. All it is from Butler is a female end with a jet in the end of it, and that's an 8005 jet simulator. So, we went through that process. You would just take and eliminate that bucket of water. You've now bled out, so you don't have any more air bubbles in there. Your system should work. If it doesn't, you keep working on that to get it to draw through. Important part, though, this here just halfway open to begin with. Get it flowing in here really well. Then open it wide open. When you got it flowing, when you turn it down and you see that that pebble is still working as you shut it off and go on. And then simulator nozzle. Simulator nozzle to help adjust and or with your wand help adjust because I do run larger jetting so I'll have to readjust. If you have any questions you give me a shout out. That will hopefully help you with uh, bleeding your system out for your butler system on chemical injection.